Well, what's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrina One is back, and we've got another episode for Metal Gear Solid Five: Ground Zeroes, leading all the way in into the Phantom Pain. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying so far. So, we're going to be doing the classic Intel uh, opposition here, or whatever you want to call it, the classic Intel acquisition. Uh, we're going to have all of the settings pretty much turned off, so no reflex mode, no hints, no anything like that. This is going to be played on the hard difficult setting, and I'm going to be doing this completely stealth, which means no takedowns, no knockouts, no nothing. It's just going to be completely 100% stealth, get in, get out, without being seen. So hopefully you guys enjoy. It is go time. side of the base to contact the target. Just climb up there and turn the searchlight on. Once he sees that, he'll come to you. Once you've identified him, approach him and grab him. That's the contact sign. When you get out of that truck is up to you. Just be sure to take a good look around first. This job, it came through a cutout, but I have a feeling the client is the Joint Chiefs of Staff. After all, the chairman has a lot of faith in you after Peace Walker. In other words, the agent you'll be contacting has been ordered by the nation's highest ranking military officers to spy on a military base. Not your everyday story, but there's more to it than that. That base doesn't follow American, Cuban, or any other law. Somebody wants themselves a place where they can interrogate POWs as they please without being held to the Geneva Convention, a black site. Vietnam is dragging on. The tide has turned against the US and military is exhausted. The CIA is in the same boat, only they've taken advantage of the situation by trying to build this convenient little safe house on the Cuban coast. But a plan of this insanity would never get rubber stamped by the JCS. An official proposal has been submitted, but it only makes mention of expanding the refugee camps. Something is going on in Cuba's little America, far away from the eyes of Washington. And the truth behind it all should be on that cassette tape. Alright guys, so as you can see, this has not been a speed run or anything like that, but this is uh, kind of a way that I feel that Snake would go in and do this. So, again, I said there's going to be no taking down of enemies. We're not even going to be messing with any enemies. We're going to be sneaking by every single enemy, except for the one enemy that we need to mess with in order to actually get the classic intel tape. So maybe some of you don't know out there, and if you really haven't played much of Ground Zeroes, but there's actually two tapes that you can get in this... Uh, mission, right? So there's one tape that if you actually talk to the guy uh, that, you know, you could do, the guy in the beginning told you, you know, hey, meet with him, he'll tell you where the tape is and all that, but he actually gives you the wrong information. So this is actually the correct tape that you need to get, and depending on where you go in the mission, what you're doing, he will be in different spots. If you go the way that I do, he's going to be right here. Otherwise, if you actually talk to the guy first, uh, then he'll actually go more towards the middle of the map, and then it's a little bit more different, difficult to find him and whatnot. But uh, you can pretty much get it done super quickly. We can get in, we can get out without actually ever being seen. It's actually quite difficult to do uh, just because of the way that the, the AI is kind of situated. You know, you have to be a little bit patient at the same time. But you also got to make sure that you do everything in a specific order so that you can have everyone be where they need to be in order to be able to get through. So up ahead, we're going to have two guards. But those two guards, you're going to have to kind of find a way to get around them. So, uh, you know, one of the diversion methods that we have is our magazine. So we're going to be using our magazine to be able to kind of divert one of the guards in a different location because he heads this direction. You have a camera, as you could hear, on the other side. And you have this guard as well. So we need to find how we're going to get around them. Now you just need to get out of there. Doesn't matter to me how you do it. Call in the chopper, sneak out in the back of a truck, hell, steal a car and smash right through one of the exits if you feel like it. So once this guy is actually kind of past your field of view, then you can throw the magazine. If you throw it too early, he's obviously going to be able to see you. So uh, the trick is to throw it pretty much just straight ahead anywhere. It doesn't matter. As long as he turns around in a different direction, you can sneak behind him and then go 
uh, a different direction. Now, there's also going to be a place that we're going to pass that has the other tape. Now, that tape, again, is a fake tape. It's not the real acquisition tape. So if you want the real deal, this is uh, kind of the method that you need to do. Or one of the, you know, so many different methods you could do to actually do this. So we're going to keep going through here. Remember, if you tap the triangle button or Y button or I'm not sure what it is on the PC, but this is the PC version. But I'm playing with a 360 controller just because I'm more comfortable with that. We're going to go through this way so we can actually go back around the other way. It's, it's the best route to be able to get by these guys without them actually uh, seeing you, messing with you, or anything like that. They're going to kind of meet up in the middle of this little area. Once they do that, then you're going to have free reins to move to the back side up to where the truck is. So you remember that we came in on the truck, right? So the guy that we kind of used the magazine on is the truck driver. Now if you go up that ladder to the right, right there you can head to the other tape. However, there is a camera, so you need to get smoke grenades that will be pretty much directly to the left from where you climb the ladder. And then you're able to get that tape if you really want it, but you don't really need it. So this guy is walking back over here right now, and he's going to be entering into this truck. Now, another method you can actually do is you cannot wait, because this takes like, I, th I think, another maybe 30, 40 seconds for him just to kind of walk in this direction. But if you're, you know, you want a better time because you care about the leaderboards and all that kind of stuff, which I really don't. I, I don't play Metal Gear Solid games to get the fastest time. I play Metal Gear Solid games just to see how I could challenge myself to get by the enemies without them even knowing that I'm there. And uh, I felt that this was kind of a really cool way to do it. And uh, it took me a while to figure out how can I do this without messing with anyone. And this was the best method that I could find. But you can actually take the truck and get out of there. But you got to be careful on your driving. If you mess up at all, then you will get an alert because there's a guard right outside this door when you uh, go through with the truck. So if you're going to do it that way, just be careful and make sure that you're driving to where there's no guards directly looking inside the truck so that can be a little difficult but it is possible I did do it uh, as well but I thought how cool would it be to enter and exit the same way that you know everything be the same you came in one way and then we're gonna exit that exact same way so uh, yeah I mean pretty basic straightforward mission so I'm gonna take this opportunity to talk to you guys again Metal Gear Solid 5 is coming up very soon if you're watching this now very excited for this. We're going to be doing a lot of extensive coverage of that. So there will be a lot of missions that are going to be just like, say, this in general that you're going to be getting a lot of uh, good detail information on. And I'll try to do my best uh, to make it very easily uh, obtainable from you guys as well as uh, being able to understand uh, the different things that you need to do in order to complete that S ranking. Not necessarily doing it fast, but doing it just completely stealthy. So again, I did this on the PC. I did it in 4K. I don't know why the video looks a little weird when the menu comes up. I think it's just a shadow play thing because I used shadow play to uh, record this in 4K. Since I have my GTX 980 Ti, I'm now running the game at a smooth 60 frames per second in 4K, which is great. Now, unfortunately, YouTube, you're not going to be able to see 60 frames a second. Uh, because they won't, I think it's only for a few people do they allow to do 4K at 60 frames a second. So uh, we're still waiting on, you know, that to kind of get better and better. But uh, So obviously you guys are seeing this in 30 frames a second, but it's still truly amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys. Again, I'm going to be doing a PlayStation 4 walkthrough and a PC 4K walkthrough. So there's going to be two distinct walkthroughs. And that's pretty much going to be it, guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. As you can see, we're kind of just exiting the same place that we came in. And that's it. So it was really, really fun to try to figure out how to do this completely unseen and stealthy. So I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed it. And let's find out what rank we have received. And we got an achievement for it as well. Of course, you could do it. You could do a way faster time, but this is kind of just the way that I wanted to do it. You know, I never like to rush things. I always like to give you guys uh, the method that I feel. Uh, the character in the game would want to do it, you know, in that situation as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and of course, we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to wait till the end of this video to uh, find out some more information. Peace out, bitches! We finished analyzing the tape you got from that soldier. It contains every last detail of the Black Side development plan. This is the information our client was after. No surprise that proposal submitted to the Pentagon was a pack of lies. 
The refugee camps they propose to expand would actually be converted into interrogation facilities, run by a small army of pros in every form of torture there is. They've even purchased a fleet of transports. The facility's inmates wouldn't be limited to just prisoners, but anyone they considered a threat, rendition from around the world under the designation of enemy combatants. This plan goes beyond the current paradigm of nation-states. But is something like this really the world without borders that Cypher wants?